Union Stars day. You know voting for a political party, we're not voting for the SNP or Alex Salmon. We're voting for our freedom as a country. That's why people are going to vote yes. The no campaign represents the party. The yes campaign represents the people. There is a momentum that you guys aren't seeing in the working class housing estates and villages of Scotland. Working class people are fed up with Jacob Bernardi, fed up with lies to the weak people dragging us into illegal wars, tax cuts for the millionaires, bedroom tax for the poor. They are going to use their power. They very, very rarely get any power. They've got power in Thursday. Yeah, and they're going to use it and they're going to vote for freedom. Distribute that wealth to ordinary working people like us. Okay. I want to redistribute wealth in Scotland, not to stand still. Scotland is potentially one of the richest countries on the planet. I want to redistribute wealth in Scotland, not to stand still. Let's get rid of striving. We as an independent country have huge resources. Natural resources, but also people resources. We've got five first class universities, we've got a food and beverages industry that's at the envy of the world. We have the ability to produce the resources and the revenues that won't just maintain the health service, won't just maintain education, but will develop health and develop education. And I don't want it to stand still. Think globally, act locally. Revolutions and change aren't just single events, man. They don't just happen. What's going to happen here in Thursday is a democratic revolution. The people are fed up. They're patronized, being lied to by this mob in Westminster. Scottish general election in an independent Scotland. Guess who's going to decide who wins Scotland? The Scots. Guess who's going to decide who wins Scotland? The Scots. When we win our independence and we start investing in health, investing in education, building social housing, the people of England are going to be saying, hey, we can do that as well. We've already got 20% of the fishing stock in Europe. We've already got 60% of oil, as you know. We've, we've already got 25% of the wind, wave, and solar. Ian Thursday, you're not voting for a political party. We're not voting for the SNP or Alex Salmon. We're voting for our freedom as a country. That's why people are going to vote yes. Guess who's going to decide who wins Scotland? The Scots. Guess who's going to decide who wins Scotland? The Scots. The decision that, that we make in three weeks' time will define us, this generation, and also the, the future of the nation. Few societies anywhere on earth have secured this opportunity 
to vote themselves into independence. This is an opportunity peacefully at the ballot box in a process which has been agreed and consented. It is an opportunity which may not come our way again. So when we post that ballot in the next few days or we go into the polling place, we will be taking the future of our country into our hands. We will have opportunities as a, an independent country and the means of taking advantage of them. We will have challenges as an independent country and we have got to rise to these challenges to solve them. In contrast, all of the no campaigns have nothing, absolutely nothing positive to say about the future of this country. In reality, there is only one thing we can guarantee, and this is what a yes vote can guarantee. At each and every election in an independent Scotland, we will get the government that we vote for. The choices that the people of Scotland make will be reflected in policy, and that means the policies and the position of Scotland will be placed in Scottish hands. If this uh, referendum was not about me or Alistair or the political parties or the newspaper talk editor, this referendum is about the future of Scotland. And the future of Scotland should be in the hands of the people of Scotland. It's about believing that we can govern ourselves better than anyone else can. We don't need to rise and be a nation again. We only have to vote to believe in ourselves. Okay. This is our time, our moment. Let's seize it with full power.